Hey, you guys, going in for an audition. Let you know how it is. Peace. Hi. Zoe Kravitz just scored a major DC superhero role alongside Robert Pattinson, so prepare for all of the cat puns. She might have perfected the art of secret keeping during her stint on HBO's Big Little Lies, but you guys, the cat's officially out of the bag. I warned you about the cat puns. Zoe Kravitz has officially signed on to play Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, in the 2021 release of The Batman. After a week of rigorous readings and callbacks, it's been reported that the decision was made once Zoe read alongside Rob, and the pairing was a success. Seriously though, who doesn't look good paired with Rob? Director Matt Reeves, who was also the filmmaker behind the last two Planet of the Apes sequels, took over directing the upcoming Batman film from Ben Affleck back in 2017. Once Ben retired, Reeves completely took over the creative direction, alas creating this insane A-luster duo. Thankfully, Zoe has some practice portraying Catwoman after voicing the anti-heroine in the Lego Batman movie back in 2017, but considering she'll be following the footsteps of other A-listers like Anne Hathaway, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Halle Berry, who've also nabbed the femme feline role, she'll have some pretty solid study material in order to get the job done. The news was just dropped yesterday morning and DC fans immediately reacted in a mostly all positive manner, especially considering she was previously denied the role in The Dark Knight. One user tweeted, I legitimately cannot breathe. I've been wanting Zoe Kravitz to play a Gotham City siren for so long. Incredibly underrated talent and beauty icon. She's going to be a phenomenal Selena Kyle. Another fan commented on the chemistry both Zoe and Rob already seem to be giving off, saying, I already know the sexual tension between Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz in The Batman will be the death of me. The film is rumored to also have Jonah Hill taking on a mystery villain role and Jeffrey Wright, who will allegedly play Batman's right-hand man, Commissioner Gordon. We've got some time to let this exciting news soak in, and by some time, I mean like two-ish years, The Batman is set to hit theaters on June 25th, 2021. Listen, I know that's a long time to contain your excitement, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be well worth the wait. All right, you guys, that's all the news I have to share with you. Let me know your thoughts on the casting down in the comments below. After that, don't forget to click right over here for another new video. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring, and I'll see you guys next time.